Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nina's Hidden Apron. Today we're going to make some dips. Um, I'm going to do just two and you'll have to see the other one on my next vlog. This one is my pizza dip. I'm going to make a pepperoni pizza dip and uh, right now I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees and I'm softening some cream cheese up in the microwave. I'm using eight ounces of cream cheese. I'll tell you how much goes into it as we go along. I also have the recipe, the full recipe, on my Facebook page that's called Handcrafted By. So you can go over there and take a look at it too. Um, as we go along, I'm going to tell you everything that I've, that I've put in here. Now right now, this is a nine inch pie plate that I've put some olive oil in uh, around the bottom and the sides. Now you don't have to uh, microwave your cream cheese. You can let it sit out and, and come to room temperature if you would rather do it that way. So I'm just gonna mix this just a little bit. Now the next thing I'm gonna add to this cream cheese is 3 fourths cup of sour cream. I like to use the Daisy brand light sour cream. That's the only kind I really like. If you don't like sour cream at all, you can always go with a Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt as your substitute. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. And we're going to give it a really good stir. We're going to get it mixed up really well. If you have any lumps and it bothers you as far as your cream cheese is concerned, just pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds so that you can get it smoothed on out. Here we go. There. Next, I've got my spices all measured out. Um, again, I'm just going to tell you what I'm putting in it as I go along. Oh, I've got some pasta sauce. You can always use marinara. And we're going to use a cup of pasta sauce. Now, these seasonings. This is a half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just going to sprinkle these in and then give them a really good mix. Just give it a mix real good. Get it mixed in real well, and if you see any clumps like that, be sure and work that in. Might not taste so good if you get a big old clump of oregano in a bite. Now, if there's small little lumps like that, you don't need to worry so much about because that's going to melt down in the oven. Okay, and there's what that looks like. Next, we're going to go ahead and dump this into our prepared baking dish. <laughs> I just slung that out on the counter. But that's okay. We'll get it cleaned up in just a second. Keep my dish towel or dish cloth over here close by for a situation just like that. <laughs> We're going to spread this out into the bottom of our pie plate. If you don't have a pie plate, you can use like an 8x8 baking dish or 9x9. And then, of course, you can always double the recipe. Now, my topping is going to be pepperoni. You can put as many toppings as you like on it, whatever you like. If you want it to only be vegetables, then you can do that too. Get all that in there. Every bit counts, right? Okay. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and pour our pizza sauce on. I've probably got about a cup of pizza sauce left in here. This is actually the second batch I've made. I made some a couple of days ago too. Tom absolutely loved it. I used to make this all the time. My daughter and I would have a little snack night instead of cooking for dinner. And uh, this was our snack night. We love it. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just going to stick that in there so I don't make such a wretched mess. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is put a cup and a half of mozzarella. Yes, I'm using the bag. A uh, cup and a half of shredded mozzarella on here. I'm just going to spread it out. We're also going to uh, top it also off with a cup of, uh, or a half cup of Parmesan cheese. Make sure you can get it around the edges as well. Cover all your top. Here we go. I'd say that's probably a cup and a half. And again, next we're going with the Parmesan. You can uh, always shred this stuff yourself if you want to. This happens to be the two cheeses I do not have shredded uh, sitting in my fridge in container. <laughs> okay, next. Half a cup of Parmesan. And next, I took some big pepperonis. You can get the small ones. You can use the turkey pepperonis. However you want to do it. But I did slice these in half, and I'm just going to top it with one of the packets of pepperoni. And then we're going to put it in the oven and let it bake for 25 minutes. And after that, we'll bring it out. We'll let it sit and cool for about 20 minutes so that all of the cheeses and the, uh, the cream cheese mixture has a time to set up. So you can get it on your cracker or whatever you're going to use uh, to dip it with. Okay, yeah. And let's get this in the oven. Again, that's in a preheated 375 degree oven. And uh, we're going to do this for 25 minutes. So we'll be back in just a few. Okay, my timer just went off on the oven, so let's carefully get this out. Let's be careful because it will, uh, it'll be uh, kind of liquefied. But there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious. We're going to let this cool completely down. I'm probably going to sprinkle it with a little bit more of the oregano but once this cools down then we'll give it a taste i already know what it tastes like y'all delicious is what it tastes like but we're going to give it 25 minutes before we even dig into it so we don't get scalded <laughs> we'll be back then oh if you haven't subscribed yet please do i have a subscription button over here notification over here give me a thumbs up all that good stuff yeah, we'll be back soon. There we go. It's cooled down. And uh, my taste tester is here <laughs> yet again. <laughs> Get me some of this. Oh, it's, very... it's very cheesy. Yes, I'm using two crackers to make a sandwich. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Good, yeah? Mm-hmm. Isn't it so good? I mean, it's pizza without a crust. That's all it is. Pizza with no crust. <laughs> that is so amazing. Oh wow. You already know I'm gonna try. Mm -hmm. Give me a little little bit of a dip here. It's trying to get away from me. It's still it's still warm. I don't know if I'm letting y'all see that or not. Woo, yet yeah, still definitely warm. Look. Look at all cheesy and everything. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's so good. Mmm. One more bite of just the cream cheese without the pizza topping. Mmm. So good. Okay, y'all take care. <laughs> Enjoy your day.
We'll see you next time. Bye.